Okay, so we're at the house. Um, this is the park here. So as far as road noise, uh, road noise goes, I can't hear anything. And I just came off the freeway, had pretty decent traffic. Our traffic here starts at about noon, goes all the way till about seven. Um, it's about 2.30. So I'll just be quiet so you can listen to the noise. Okay, and I'm being very specific here, but there are power lines that run right in front of the house. Um, last time you said that might be a deal breaker, so just being up front with you. Um, so please keep that in mind. I mean, it's normal for these power lines to run in front of the, the houses, but just let me know how you feel about that. Okay, so there seems to be a dog run area. Um, I think they have dogs there. Maybe not anymore, but here we go. Uh, so this deck decking is Trex decking. It's like a it's a, a plastic decking. It looks pretty worn out, but not too bad. And this is the entrance. Yeah, so these are hardy plank, so they should last a long time. Uh, this is the, the solar panel exchanger. This should tell us how much energy you're using or saving. Okay, so real quick, um, here is the downstairs. So kitchen, living room. Okay, it looks like upgraded windows. They stage this unit pretty nice. Uh, open concept kitchen. Uh, formal dining area. Okay. And then you have a, a bonus room. So this would be a, a den or an office, not an official bedroom. No closets. Okay. Um, kitchen is a little bit small in terms of the cabinet space, but this area really makes it nice. Um, for entertaining and it's just a nice connector area between between the two spaces that's just my two cents okay furnace and then I'll come over here uh, downstairs but let's see this must be a little bathroom powder room, closet, okay let's go upstairs first, uh, coat closet right here, so, okay, going upstairs, okay, now let's head directly into the rooms. Okay. Seems like these guys have a little garden area, which is nice. Uh, it might not be nice if you don't want a garden, <laughs> so you can convert this into something else. Uh, let's see. Closet space. And then looking back. Okay. Okay, and then bathroom. area and then kids room huh. nice I like these windows actually you don't really see these big windows anymore 
They must have replaced the older older window and had a custom vinyl frame in it. Seems like the neighbors have kids. And that's the view. Okay. All right, so we will go into the other space. Again, little closet probably. Actually, no, so they have a washer dryer unit right there. Yeah, this was probably the original tile flooring. So they, they kept that, which is, which is pretty cool. Okay, now this is, okay, so this is the master, all right? So really open, uh, love the windows, a lot of natural light. And then closets. Bathroom, separate toilet, so a five piece bath, okay. All right, so let's go downstairs uh, into the basement. Separate entrance to the front, which, yeah, this is this is really nice. And then you have a foyer, um, garage. So tankless water heater. Furnace is pretty old, but I'd be curious what the service records are. Uh, but this has been recently drywalled and painted. Um, you can see that they've done some work. So it's nice. It seems to be insulated. Uh, there's a, there's a, uh, a window here. Okay, not bad. Okay, and then separate bathroom. So the, the bathroom down here. Yeah. Not bad, not bad at all. They did a lot of work to this place, I can tell. Okay, now this is the, uh, now this doesn't have a door, but I'm sure we could do something here. Um, this is the extra room with its own kitchenette. Okay, so take a look. Uh, furnace heating right there, so central heating with a separate kitchenette. Uh, if it were me, and if you're not using this place, I would definitely rent this place out. Um, there's a lot of people coming into Seattle for events. Uh, Seafair is a really popular event where the Blue Angels, uh, the jet fighter pilots, kind of fly over the area. And some people charge a thousand bucks per night. So this would be closet, extra space. This just feels like a studio to me. And a lot of people in Seattle are looking for that second source of income. So not bad at all. 